fastest time at 2.18.5. And there is a big crash. And that's the last corner. And that is the number 28, Christopher Hasser. What a shame. That's a big off, too, because he's hit the wall, I think. And there's the checkered flag. That put paid to the end of the session, but it doesn't make any difference. El Bamba is the top man to 17.436. Uh, Maro Engel in second place. So it's Porsche, Mercedes, Audi. I love that. Three manufacturers in the top three. And then Lauren Van Tor. And he was already out of control. He didn't just glance it. He took a chunk out of it. So Christopher Hasser has fallen foul to what Habsburg did this time last year, trying to take a, a tighter line. And there just is no tighter line, I'm afraid, because that is the outcome when you try to do that at our bend. And everybody just... Uh, being warned that there is a car in the way. Here's another look at it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Going nowhere fast. So, any surprises? Uh, well, Raf Raphael Marchiello has improved. We take another look at the Audi, just bouncing over the curbs as well. I think that added to that. Marchiello has improved to 12. Oliver Jarvis, 13th position, and all the Nissans pretty much on the same pace, but that pace, unfortunately, is the 220s rather than the leading boys which are 217 and i think we are going to see this weekend uh mercedes take on porsche at the hardest track in the world with some of the best drivers in the world and just to throw in some spice i think audi and bmw will play a part as well so all good stuff darrell young has improved to 11th position one of the most experienced men here and adelaide fong also top 10 for adelaide from hong kong so that's good news